Welcome to my channel, Enchanted Tarot. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general reading, and it may or may not resonate with you. Um, in that case, I would suggest that you check your Moon or your Rising sign, or both, for messages. So let's get on with this reading. Um, as an overall energy, the card at the bottom of the deck, um, it shows that you are bored, uh, feeling emotionally flat, you're unhappy, uh, having to wait for something, or you are dissatisfied with your present circumstances. You can see on this card uh, that there is, and I'll put it here so you can see it, there's an opportunity being handed here to you, a gift, an opportunity, a gift from the universe, but you don't see it. You're, you're focusing on these three cups down here, which I feel are empty. Um, so basically, you're unable to see the forest for the trees. Now, um, at the center of this reading, you have the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from something that no longer serves you emotionally. Um, you see a full moon here. It's actually a lunar eclipse, but it could also indicate a full moon that uh, this could happen around that time. Um, this is a decision that you are making. Alright, so let's go here to, to Temperance. Temperance, for me, is a guardian angel. She's watching over you. She's protecting you. She is all about divine timing, balance, healing and having patience. She, her appearance here is to indicate to you that there are divine forces working for you and through you to make something happen for you. But you need to be patient. In the meantime, in the meantime, she wants you not to become overwhelmed by the things that are going on around you. She stands over the judgment card, looking down at the judgment. And the judgment card is, it can mean something resurrected from the past. Um, it can be a person, it can, it can be a memory that you're calling up from the past. Um, but it's also about rising up from a difficult time in your life, getting a second chance at something. Again, this is life-changing decisions that you are making. And it echoes this card in the center here. Then we have the Queen of Swords next to Temperance, and she is traditionally a widow uh, somebody who is separated, alone or lonely. She's a truth seeker. She's a very shrewd and logical uh, quick thinker, very focused. She's somebody that's going to cut straight, truth, straight to the truth. She'll tell you exactly what she thinks and feels. She knows exactly what to say, too. Um, She's not. She is. She's an air sign, and she could be. Um, she could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Now, uh, she could be, perhaps, this person uh, who could come back from the past, or you could be embodying these energies. For some reason, I think uh, that she's actually a memory or somebody who's actually going to come back from the past 
uh, because she sits above the part at the top, which is about um, it's about reminiscing, uh, thinking about the way things were. Uh, it's also about somebody, a possible blast from the past coming back. So um, it can also simply be uh, telling you to take the time to stop and smell the roses. But I really truly think that this is either somebody who's coming back from the past, somebody that you are were passionate about, emotionally, emotionally had an emotional attachment to, or you are thinking about her or him. But I believe that you are going to take the um, decision to walk away from from her or close the door on the memory. On this side here, we have a card of assessment, uh, which is the seven of coins. And it's also a card of waiting and shows impatience. It's about, based on the results of what you've done so far, have you gotten what you've expected? Is it worth the picking? Should you continue? You could have waited a long time for this. Uh, it's, it's about what you're putting your time into trying to build. If you are in a relationship, it suggests to be patient and allow it to grow. So, and that is next to the Queen of Cups and above the star. So we'll go to the Queen of Cups, who is somebody who is emotionally secure and affectionate, compassionate, very intuitive, often a psychic, a healer, or a counselor. She senses people's needs. Um, this could be an energy that you have around you, but it could also be a person, and, and if it is a person in your life, they would be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could be you. Um, you need to move, trust in your intuition, and follow your heart with regards to a situation. Um, you may have to stand your ground and defend your values and your beliefs also with regards to whatever your situation is. And um, the Seven of Wands here telling you not to give up. Uh, you're fighting for what you believe in. And you have the uh, wish card, well, the star, which is... Um, it can be that a wish is granted, but it's also about hope and optimism for the future, feeling blessed and feeling lucky, and having faith in the situation. And whatever is happening here, it's divinely orchestrated when the star is present. So you need to have faith in the path before you. Now I'm going to draw um, uh, a message from the Archangel here. Nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both of these activities are important to you right now. I'll just put this up here so you can see it better. So 
So this looks like a pretty good night for you. Um, please don't forget that um, these energies can carry on into December and even into January. But it looks like you are going to be able to close the door on your past and wipe the slate clean and move forward. So, if that is your wish. So, <laughs> that's it for November. And um, if you got any messages or if this reading has helped you at all, uh, please like, share, and sub subscribe to the channel. Um, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you back here in December. Bye now.